woken up today and everything is just a blanket of snow I don't think it's a bunch of snow but we're not gonna say anything about it because any snow at this point is good so Jake is taking Maya to the toilet and then we're gonna go up the mountain. Yeah, good girl. Hi beautiful. Hi. Yeah. Hi beautiful girl. Come here. Yeah, you're on camera. You're on camera. Come here. Turn around. Oh. My look snow. We're gonna go skiing today and go enjoy some more 2024 feet, <laughs> which is just their way of saying on um, the snow report the most amount of snow they've had this year. Um, I love the rioters here, they're so funny. Well, Miss Maya, you will stay here and enjoy your sheep. Yes. guys so it has been a fabulous morning this snow is not forecasted and it just keeps on coming it just keeps coming they said it was supposed to stop at like 8 a.m oh no it wasn't supposed to snow last night <laughs> I was about it to snowed say. all night so we're currently on paradise we've just been hanging out in the trees today and it is so beautiful like you can kind of see behind me untouched snow which is funny because it's like not like we rushed to get up here it's definitely around midday i know it's still fresh lines to be found this is really beautiful in here. Yeah, the forecast was not snow, so we're so here for it. Get it. Get it. Alrighty.
You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you wanna go for a ski tour? You gotta get you kitted up. You ready for go for a walk? You're free. On track. So, this is one of our little um, dog owner hacks when we're at Red. There's trails just um, from the car park. They're a little bit bare this year <laughs> and a little bit icy, but um, it's a great place to like walk Maya. Um, she's allowed to be here. Mm -hmm. And we get to be on our skis, practicing touring. So it's good fun. So a couple days ago, we left the resort, headed up to an area called, what is that? Strawberry Pass. It's been a really good place just to chill and do some work. Today, we are um, gonna go on a ski tour because there's some really cool trails around here that get access to some cabins. Um, obviously, we're taking Maya. Um, it was kind of a thing that we had earlier in the season that we wanna take Maya on more hikes, more walks. And um, this coming summer, we wanna do more like overnight hikes and stuff. So we got this really cool little thing for Maya. It's a harness with some backpack just so that we can pack it with some of her stuff. Obviously she hasn't, we can't just throw everything in it to start with. So we're gonna like build her up with um, the amount of stuff that she has in the backpack. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna pack it for today to get used to wearing a backpack. So we're gonna be taking some food bags, some treats, and then we're gonna be taking her booties and we're gonna split them, put some on one side, some on the other side because you want the pack to be even, both sides, and she's ready to go. Good oh, girl. girl. It's snowing, Maya. <laughs> You're so clever. Come here. Hi. Yes, you. Yeah. Note to self, don't put anything breakable in the backpack. Good girl. Go, go, go. We were here last year in Red Mountain. We never left the resort because Red Mountain Resort used to be like 
free accommodation. If you're a camper, you could just park at the base mm. of the resort. It was such a small town, they just didn't care. Um, but this year, they instigated $25 a night, which is, in the scheme of things, not that it's bad. It's not a big deal. We paid a few nights, all good. Um, but it definitely got us thinking and got us not just like, oh, we'll just park at the base for seven days. So yeah. anyway, we got into exploring a little further out and that's how we found this network of trails and apparently all these cabins were built originally just by locals really badly until <laughs> BC Parks took it over. Is BC Parks? Uh, something like that. And basically they were like, these are unsafe. So they basically knocked them all down, but they liked the concept. So they built all these new beautiful cabins. They're so gorgeous. And the fire is hot. And they're just day use cabins. It's a gorgeous little spot to like walk around and come and sit for a nice cuppa or something. Mm, I kind of wish we had a hot chocolate, but we gotta go because we are losing the light. So we're gonna head off and- um, We might do this again another day. We'll do this again and we'll have to bring some beverage equipment. It's the only real way to do this. <laughs> started skiing down and Maya took off so she is literally like at the base of this particular stretch of the mountain so we're pulling her back up so we can do a take two because she was like 300 meters away. <laughs> Hi! Yeah come on. <laughs> was that fun? Come here. back from our little walk this afternoon. It was a great success with Maya and her backpack. Um, also was a lovely outing for us. It was so great actually. The snow was actually really nice. The cabin was so cute. Oh my god Maya runs fast. I don't know She's if you a speedy. saw that but like. And that now really she <laughs> is very 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 cute. After doing 10k in the snow she got really cold and then started complaining that she was cold. So, so we bundled her up and she's very cute. Baby. You've been filmed. Yep. What you gonna do? Now we're gonna make some dinner and um, have a bit of a night. Enjoy and chill. Next morning, we decided to head back down into Roslyn and explore the town. We needed to restock all of our supplies, and of course, we needed to head to the local cafe. So not really something that we usually talk about, but it's something that I really wanted to get on and like emphasize and like put out there because it's it's actually quite quite a heavy issue. Um, so Maya likes to be free and obviously we let her be free. She runs around a lot and like 
even when we're walking and whatnot, like she's always off lead. Something that we've noticed a lot when we're in Canada with her is um, she gets high. Dogs like Maya run around and they see something, they eat it. And when they eat marijuana, it's actually really scary for both them and us. Um, so I just wanted to like show that because you guys know Maya, you guys know her little face, you guys know the emotions that come with her little face. And when this happens, it's very scary for her. You okay, Bobby? Oh, sorry, Baba. Yeah. Come. May I come? Come on. Good job. Come here. Yeah. You're a good girl. And essentially, they absorb the THC like tenfold of what humans do. So you might finish, like, there might be a tiny little bit on the end of your bud. You throw that on the ground. That's like having ten Entire joints. Entire joints. Like, it, it's insane. So. She and just really, essentially really just greens out really, really quickly. Um, but yeah. She's currently paranoid by her tail. Yeah. People, enjoy your weed. Enjoy your substances. Do whatever you want to do, but dispose of them when they're done. As with everything, beer cans, everything, clean up after yourself. Like, if you go out and have fun, just clean up. That's all we ask, because, um, yeah, it's, it's not fun. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're walking so good, buddy. Oh, wow. It's okay. Hey. It'll be okay, I promise. Put you on your bed. Help. Lift. So just final check in on Maya basically she um it's like nine ten o'clock so and we think she had it at around like two so it's been a good seven hours um she lost control of her bladder lost control of her uh, back legs she can't stand she's um can't stay upright she's got no balance which is super scary for a dog like Maya who's so dependent and loves to run and being active very scary. She's only just started like reacting to like when we say her name. So yeah, this is a pretty bad dose. Okay. So use your discretion as a pet parent to take them to the vet. They'll just give them like fluids and monitor them very regularly and try and keep on top of them. At this point in time, there's really nothing else they can do other than monitor and give fluids. Which if you have a dog that tends to eat everything, which we do, um, we actually keep activated charcoal in the house for this situation because she ate mold last year and went into a bit of a a fit. A fit. Um, so we think she's crossed with lab so that just says everything there um but yeah <coughs> on that note if you are like trying to scout an area we actually think that this particular situation we are pretty certain she was vomiting earlier and it smelt like someone took a dump in here so i'm pretty sure it was in fecal matter um so yeah. bury <laughs> bury your, your poops <laughs> dig a hole and poop in the hole don't just and poop on the snow just double area yeah. Sure yeah yeah so um it's gonna be a long night i think she's still got a good few hours in her but just wanted to put this out there because it would have been really cool to have heard all of this and know all this before coming over and before it happening to us the first time so yeah i hope this never happens to you guys <laughs> Yesterday we Thursday came. Sorry, <laughs> yesterday uh, we went to Sunspot Cabin, which is a really pretty one. But today we're gonna try and make it all the way up to Lepso, um, which is up here. But we're gonna take this little back route um, and pray we don't get lost. You slash the up. See what happens. Yeah. Maya, come on, wrong way. Up this way. Hey, snow face. So we're gonna come down here. Beautiful shred line of pillows up there. Pow, big turn. Come off here, send it off the skin track because it'll be a nice hard for that pack surface. Into the power. And then you get a gorgeous view. And that 
is. That's how you film. All right, guys, so we have just come out of the trees. That was really quite hard for me. <laughs> I am a beginner uh, when it comes to touring, so yeah, it was a bit challenging, but good. Anyway, we're back on the main trail now, and we're just on the last little stretch to get up to that so cabin, where we're gonna do one very important thing before we go down and ski. Shred pillow lines. And then? I, I mean, coffee. <laughs> 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 Hi. With Claire.
that's it for Red. Um, look, we love Red Mountain. It's great, great resort. We found some really cool trails around here at Strawberry Point, so super happy about that. It was awesome to get out with Maya. Yeah, we did like three days on resort, a couple of days in backcountry. Overall, it was a really fun experience. Honestly, the only reason we're leaving is because we've run out of water in our tanks, so and we're gonna there's, go. there's not really anywhere to fill up around here. It's the yeah. only thing. So if you are coming in an RV, Keep that, in mind. Keep that in mind. Not really anywhere to fill up or dump mm -hmm. in the winter anyway. There is in summer. That's a wrap on red. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and what's the other thing? From here, we're um, heading up through the Kootenays into the Rockies, um, up to Panorama, which is near an awesome little town called Invermere. Mm -hmm. So we're super keen for that. Um, yeah. Some serious echoes right now. Yeah. Let's cool. do it. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Go, go.